Hi there. In this video we will be taking a look at this awesome little thing. And you might be thinking what's so awesome about it? Well, a few things. First, thank you Pictech from for sending this in. The model is 1020A. And let me start with the awesomeness. For a card guy, and honestly, kind of everybody, you want to have a multimeter inside your car. And being inside your car, you want to have a tiny multimeter. And this one is extremely tiny. And not only that it's tiny, it has a trick up its sleeve. And I will show you the trick in a moment. Removed the batteries from the packaging. They are GPs, so really good batteries. Most times uh, included batteries, ah, you don't really like them, but these are good. We need to remove also this screw, if I could actually see a screwdriver, so be back again in a second. And I'm back once again. Let's prepare to put in the batteries. Look at this little compartment. Isn't this little compartment cool? I really like it. The only issue, okay. I didn't know how to put in the battery. It seems it's uh, quite obvious. Like that. And the other one like that. And now we come with the little compartment. Even the screw is a captive one, so it will not fall down. This is a lot of attention to details and I like it. Some might say not needed. Maybe partially agreed, but if you already have it, why not? It's quite cool. Okay, let's power this little guy on. We don't have any leads connected. But let me show you its party trick. Do you see it? That's the party trick. For a car, having an integrated flashlight is awesome. Many, 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 many times I was making light with my phone, also trying to measure something, also having this somehow that I light it up with my phone and see it at the same time. Nope, with this, not required. Although I realize now the screen is not, uh, doesn't have a backlight on it, I think. Mm, yeah, it doesn't have a backlight. Anyway, there's that. So it might be a bit tricky to see the screen itself. We will see this evening how, it is, how easy it is to see the screen itself. But anyway, for me, this, even by being so little, is perfect for the car. If I could actually remove this and plug it into here, you will see this a lot in my car related video videos. Weirdly enough, it isn't has it I cannot talk today at all. It even has voltage detection, AC that is not DC, from 100 to 600. So let me see if I can actually test that in a second. Yep. It's not flickering. You only see it flickering on video. So that is also working. Yes, it's not ideal. It's mostly to check uh, on wires from the shape of it because yeah, how, yeah. <laughs> this is not uh, a good way to check for voltage uh, with a tool of this shape. But for wires, this is freaking awesome addition on it. And yeah, if you want to check for voltage, uh, I will link in the description another tool from PicTech that is designed to do that. And apart from uh, voltage checks, for example, obviously in a car, you would need continuity test. And here it is. And 
these protections are also really nice when you are testing little things and you don't want to short something out. Uh, let me think when I shorted out the last time something. I think when, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I will link that video in the description also. I was uh, adding a voltage uh, indicator in the uh, roof light assembly in my A4B8 Audi and well, this thingy, not this particular one, but this from another multimeter, shorted to things that shouldn't be shorted. Well, with this, way less of a chance of that happening. So, pretty awesome little thing. You somehow find a way uh, turn it off and also it has auto off, so it will not discharge the battery like crazy uh, by itself. Also, it has auto ranging, as you can see. So, that's really good. Uh, you find a way, I don't know, to to make this uh, work and then pop this on the back of it. I need to find the proper way to, to do this. Be back in a second. Well, something like this and throw it in the glove box and you are done. And you might be wondering why did they uh, not directly put the wires in the multimeter, the testing leads? Well, I'm going to show you in a second. If they would have been directly without all of this, so directly wires coming out of it. To have plugs in this, presumably they didn't have enough space. The seals kind of built like a brick. I cannot transmit that. I can just tell you it's quite a, uh, a heavy little device. So I presume internally there is not uh, a lot of free space. If we wouldn't have this part right here, we wouldn't be able to use something like this. And Sometimes you need a bit of a hands-free operation with uh, clamps like this that you can attach to something and uh, then uh, go somewhere else and else and I don't know put the contact or do something else and they remain attached by uh, attached by themselves. Uh, direct wires into this wouldn't allow for anything like that. So this is why we have this connection right here. Yes, I do understand. It's a bit bulky, mm. not 100% a fan of, but uh, it isn't a big problem either. So this little guy will be going in the car and will be my go-to uh, multimeter for car related stuff. And I will show you this evening for you, obviously next in the video, how this little thing works. And obviously even when it's in off, it still works. So, yeah, great. And yes, also, uh, if you need longer leads, I think there are extensions in here. So you can extend them because you can see these leads, I don't know, total half a meter or maybe 60 centimeters or 70 or something. But you can extend them even more if somehow you need to, depending on what you are doing on the car. So yes, it would have been a bit uh, simpler uh, and easier to store without this, but they do serve a purpose. They are not just here to to annoy us. And about the packaging, 3-in-1, yes, well it's a multimeter, flashlight and voltage finder. Nice. Let me show you a possible use case. Let's say you are on, on the side of the road and you don't have power anymore uh, in your car. Voila, now you have light. And this is set to continuity. I can also check the fuses. Not really sure if I can show you how I'm checking the fuses on video. And yes, uh, PicTech, if you are watching the video, working fuse, working fuse. Uh, maybe you can make this uh, button for the uh, flashlight a latching one. So you press it, it remains on and when you press it again it goes off. It's a bit hard to hold pressed while you are working. I know it's a flashlight but it can somehow be more than a flashlight. It can help you work on your car and also let me change my hands so you can see better. 
it kind of shows on the display. Uh, let me change the range because I wasn't in anything useful. It kind of shows, you can see the letters on the display. So if somehow PicTech you can make this, uh, put some more light into the display part through the plastic case. It can also act as a backlight when it's pitch dark outside. Just an idea maybe for a future improvement of this, uh, a B revision of this particular product. But anyway, for a car, you can never have too many uh, flashlights in it and uh, yeah, it's perfect, small, it will be seen in many of my future videos for sure. So that's about it for this video, thank you very much PicTech for sending this in and as always uh, to my subscribers if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments and see you in the next one, bye.